Forrest, man, this is an interesting car. I saw you rumbling through uh, town, and, and I wanted to catch up with you. I, I like what you've done with this. You've done a lot of kind of unique stuff, and you guys, I mean, you're from around here, but what, uh, Palouse, Washington, right? Palouse, yes. About 150 miles north? Yep. And you drove this baby down? Absolutely. Through Chief Joseph Canyon, Rattlesnake Grade, and... Absolutely. And lived to tell about it. <laughs> well, t tell me about this. I mean, what am I looking at here? Well, most of it's a 30 Dodge. The uh, cowl and back were wadded up in a burn pile. This stuff here? Yep. Okay. Uh, it didn't have a door. We found a Chevy pickup door with a similar belt line and cut it to fit. The frame we built ourselves. Really? Out of, out of just stock? Just two by three, eighth wall. Wow. And then how about the, like the, you know, the engine and, and everything? Where, what was the donor for that? I got a 54 Bel Air as a donor that gave up the uh, front drums, the motor, the steering box, gauges, a few other parts here and there. But uh, I guess by weight, it's a 54 Bel Air. <laughs> you know, I never would recognize that. But you've done a lot of really innovative things here. I mean, for instance, there's no radiator. This is not an air-cooled 235. What is, what's the deal? That's correct. I didn't have the, a grill shell that I liked for the front of it, and I wanted more of a Bonneville streamlined type yeah, nose yeah, that yeah. I never got around to building. So to accomplish that, we plumbed the radiator in the back. So, so your radiator's back here? Yes. And, you, and then you piped it up through there? Yes, we did. And you've punched out the trunk lid here. And you get enough airflow, does it work? It does, it does. With the shape on the back, the air rushing over actually draws yeah. a lot from it. So on the highway, I can flip off the fan. Uh huh. And the uh, gills. I, I love the, the cooling. gills, man. So those, those are functional to, to cool the radiator, which cools the engine, which is up there. Yes. It does real well. It keeps about 200 degrees most of the time. No kidding. I mean, that's almost a Daytona coupe rear end that you've got there. I mean, it's a very cool rear end and almost a Volkswagen-esque. Uh, those just decorative tips? No, they they actually function when the when you're not uncorked. Are yep. But you got them uncorked right now. I do. <laughs> I heard I that. Do. It sounds pretty. A little bit loud. What's the grill? The, the the grill is actually a uh, Kenworth smokestack protector. Oh, then you flattened it out. Yep. Oh yeah, and the tail lights. They look. I believe they're 54 Kaiser. <laughs> That's nice. What are your wheels? These are uh, early Fenton Ramrod mags. Man, you, just, you know, this is really neat. You got a, is that the 54 uh, Dash there? Yeah, that's that's the 54 Dash. <laughs> Jay Loppy kid? Yeah, that? yeah. Um, my grandma actually gave me that. She visited down in Moscow and uh, she saw the Roadster for the first time and she called it a Jalopy. She took it back real quick because like, at the time, <laughs> j jalopy was somewhat derogatory. <laughs> so uh, it's a badge of honor for this car. Yeah, yeah, it kind of it kind yeah, of stuck. Really cool. I liked it. So it's the two thirty five straight six out of the out of the Bel Air, right? Yes. It was uh, four carbs. What are they? They're, they're one barrel Rochesters. And what's the manifold? Uh, I actually made that. That's really? a uh, th th that's part of the original drive line out of that Chevy. What part? The, the, the center tube that I cut down to make the... <laughs> and so that became the manifold? How yep. does that work? It, it works fairly well. We kept the runner length short with a large plenum and it seems to hold enough gas and air and keep it suspended to run pretty good. But this is all just your own ideas and stuff, right? Well, You and the guys in the club? Mostly mine and the club ideas. That's really and... cool, man. So have, have you been down to this show? No, this is our first what time. What do you think? This is a blast. Isn't There's this a lot, cool? of, a lot of good cars <laughs> showing is, up. I can't believe the cars that are here. And this is a way cool piece. I mean, there's some good engineering here, man. Thank you. Nice car. Thanks for bringing it out. Uh, thank you. Jay Loppy kid. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, he's from cool. Coleman, and I'm from just outside of Moscow, so we're all right there. Yeah, right, yeah. We have a whole club up there. Uh, yeah, dude, I got my, I, 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 believe it or not, I got my PhD at the U of I. Did you? A PhD in chemistry. I'm the most needlessly overeducated person in television. That's awesome. <laughs> I am. And it came and it came from uh, and I did my PhD dissertation on Mount St. Helens ash. I was there when it blew up. And yeah. I did I did all the work on the analysis of that. No, I was chemistry. I was chemistry and uh, and, and you, oh, so you have a PhD in chemistry but you do both types. Yes. Well That's I did awesome. fifteen years of corporate R and D and then I then I fell into this. And yeah. You know, it beats working for a living. Heck yeah. That's, <laughs> that's awesome. Living the dream. Yeah, I love your stuff, man. You guys, this is so cool. We shall talk. Cool.